Hey everyone, it's Rory with the FarmBot Project, here giving an update on our latest software features. So what you're looking at right now is uh, FarmBot version 7. It's on this nice uh, redwood raised bed. It's about one and a half meters wide by three meters in length. And about the gantry is about one meter tall. Um, so what we're gonna show here is the latest features on the web application. So, if I go over to myfarmbot.cc, uh, here is our web application. I'm actually already logged in. I'm gonna go up to the control page here, where you'll see we have some controls, and there's also actually a live feed. You can see maybe my hand waving over in there. Uh, this control widget here allows us to move the device manually uh, a certain amount in any direction. We can either do manual, I'm sorry, not manual, um, absolute movements or relative movements. So what that means is uh, I can choose an amount here and I can say I want to move 1,000 millimeters uh, left. And that is along the x-axis and then here is our current position, 0, 0, 0. So if I press this, then the device will move in basically real time to 1,000 and you can see that the position has updated in real time there. I can also grab this and type in a number, let's say 3000, and press go. And that is an absolute movement. So I'm telling it to move to absolute coordinates, um, X3000, Y0, Z0. And you can see now it's updated there. What's cool is that we have this uh, little synchronize button up in the top right there. And whenever we're uh, moving the device, that will actually say that the device is busy. Uh, and you can see also on the live stream that the device is moving. So this is all working pretty well. We also have our uh, emergency stop button here, which works pretty quickly. Uh, so the device only moved uh, 915 millimeters that time. Actually, I think those units are a little bit off. Um, I think we need to do a uh, calibration there for the, the proper gearing of the device. But you can see that that works pretty well. So then another feature that I want to show is our sequence builder. Let's go over to sequences. What the sequence builder allows us to do is take these basic operations. These are the most basic things that FarmBot can do. So it can move absolute, it can move relative, it can write a pin. So that would be, let's say, turn on the water pump, it can read a pin, for example, to read the temperature of the soil. Uh, eventually, it'll be able to take pictures, maybe do some logic statements, wait a certain amount of time, and also send messages. Uh, and what we can do here is we can create sequences. So I'm gonna add a new sequence just to show you how this works. Um, and it's actually untitled sequence down here is what we're editing. So I can just add some of these blocks and they show up over on the right here. And I can drag and drop these um, using these little handles over here. Oops, there we go. And then what I can do is I can specify, okay, I wanna move absolute. Well, where do I wanna move to? Maybe I wanna move to X50, Y something else, etc. I can move relative. So I have a couple of uh, sequences already built here. We have this one, uh, it's a forward, forward, back, all absolutes. So it's gonna move forward to 1,000, forward to 3,000, and then back to zero. Now what this allows us to do is take these basic operations and make much more complicated uh, movements, sequences as we call them. And then eventually you'll be able to make sequences of sequences to do things such as take care of a plant over its lifetime. So now the sequences aren't uh, the last piece of the puzzle. The last piece is actually the scheduling here. So the scheduling is where we can say, okay, we have all of these different sequences, great. But when do we do them? Do we do them every day at 4 p.m.? Do we do them once a week, etc.? So what we do here is we can schedule a sequence. So I'm gonna schedule a sequence that starts today uh, and goes every one minute, just for uh, to show you really quick here. It's going to end tomorrow, and I'm going to choose my forward, forward, back, absolute sequence. The time that I want to start this uh, is going to be 3 o'clock. It's actually already 3.12 p.m. Um, so now if I schedule this, uh, it should show up over in the right here. Sometimes we have to toggle forward a date and then back one. 
there we go. So you can see that, um, oh, I might have chosen, let me edit this. Did I choose it right? Oh, this is June 3rd. Let's go back to June 2nd here. There we go. So here's 3 p.m. You can see they're kind of actually grayed out because it's already past that time. If I scroll down, now we see the lit up ones. Um, 3.13 being the next one. So what I have to do here is I have to press sync. So if I do that, it should sync with the FarmBot device. And come 3.14 maybe, or maybe 3.13, we'll see if we got it in time. The device will start moving. So it's gonna move again forward, forward, and then back um, every minute on the minute. So we'll just hang out here. Um, and I guess we'll do a little hardware tour. So this is again the latest hardware, version seven. Uh, you can see the universal tool mount down here. It has a prototype seed injector on there and these magnetically attach on. Um, we don't have the wiring hooked up yet because we've been kind of retooling how the universal tool mount's gonna work a little bit. So that will come in version eight. Over in this white box is the Raspberry Pi and the Arduino microcontroller. Oh, and here it goes. So that was forward. Forward, and then back. So FarmBot's gonna do that on its own every minute uh, until tomorrow, unless I go over back to the web application and um, edit that sequence, that scheduled sequence, and uh, delete it. So I can actually just delete it right here. So that's a wrap of uh, the latest software features. We're really excited. Um, what we're building is a platform for people to experiment and grow food on their own terms. So we're gonna ship the software with a couple of pre-built sequences. So, uh, you know, a watering sequence that is not going to run through the middle of your garden. It will make sure to go high enough above the plants. Um, um, a move position, move, move sequence so that you can pick up tools. Here it goes again, etc. So that uh, the user can do all this stuff pretty easily. But what we really want is the user to be able to adjust all this stuff uh, down to even how quickly it's moving or exactly uh, how far it's moving so that everything is controlled by the user. So there you go. FarmBot version seven and the latest software update. See you next time.